Hello everybody, um, this is Ezio or Entreri, bringing you my second bot recorded game. Let's, um, this is in England, this one. Gonna be doing one of all of the seven countries. Let's, uh, let's get into it. So, against bots, I've had relatively poor success opening north. Um, the more standard opening. Um... I do it sometimes every now and then to spice things up, but I think in general I'm better off just opening into the North Sea. And then one English Channel, and then Liverpool, I'm going to open to Yorkshire. I don't want to commit 100% to attacking France um, with the move into Wales, but I like having a firm claim on Belgium. Yeah, and so here I'm going to do pretty standard stuff once they open south. France supported himself into Burgundy. Germany did standard. I hope to see him bounce Russia out of Sweden. Russia opens south, and Russia's going to be having issues with Sevastopol. But due to the southern opening, he's, Russia is still getting Romania. And, um, and no bounce in Galicia, in particular. Yorkshire. So yeah, I'm just going to convoy into Norway. I could be supporting myself into Belgium via convoy, something like that, but I, I don't want to force myself into this fight. Cool, so Russia's trying to work with Austria. Turkey's keeping up the attack. Italy's Lepontoing, and France got one built. Cool. So we're gonna go Fleet, London. Nice to see Germany bounce Russia out of Sweden. Not nice to see Russia still build a northern army, um, despite the pressure in the south. I would have expected Warsaw to do something with Galicia, but maybe he's really hoping that Austria is on side. And they're going to just crush Turkey together. Okay, so R Germany built Fleet Kiel, which indicates he wants to go after Sweden himself. But I wanted Sweden for me. Um, yeah, I kind of want to work with France now. Hmm. So I can go after Skagrak or the Helgeland Bite here. Going after Helgeland means I actually want to be supporting Germany into Belgium. Because if I'm in Helgeland Bite and the North Sea, he's going to be supporting himself into Sweden. And he's going to have open Kiel. And Holland will be exposed. So, support moves to Belgium from Ruhr. While the North Sea moves to the Helgeland Bight. And Norway just sits there and holds. And London to North Sea. Let's see how this goes. Cool. And this was completely successful. So now, what do I go for? That is the question. I can go after Denmark or Holland. Holland just feels like the guaranteed capture, so I'm just going to do it. Um, I have to vacate the North Sea, but... It's not technically a guaranteed, right? You can, use, you can have Denmark move into the North Sea. Um, and I'm going to have Nora move to Sweden here. I think it's entirely plausible he, like, doesn't go after Sweden. Do -do -do -do. Why not support yourself into Belgium, dude? I don't really get that. I guess this is going to force a disband of the army. 
which is not useless. Which is hilariously, because he didn't take Belgium, <laughs> um, Germany is actually still net plus one this year. Because he lost Holland, but he gained Sweden and Belgium. Um, which is kind of hilarious. But not ideal for me, for, for being perfectly honest. Um, but whatever. London gets back into the North Sea. Mm, I really don't want Russia in Sweden. <laughs> With that army in St. Feet, that's probably not ideal. Okay, so I can move out of the English Channel. But there's no reason for me to do that this turn. I want London in there. I'm going to have English Channel support Picardy into Belgium, I suppose. I, like, you want to be tossing support orders to the French. Um, to your allies in these bot games. Just make sure that they understand that you're working with them. I don't know, there's no way I get into Kiel like this, but I think it's unlikely he moves Denmark into the North Sea. And if he does, I get punished, but if he does, there's also a chance I get into Kiel. So, we'll see. Good move um, from the... German here, and then it's interesting to see Russia go after Baltic still. And then he attacked from Ruhr, which is frustrating, because he could have stayed in Ruhr with me supporting Picardy into Belgium, and then Germany wouldn't have this position on Holland. France would have had it instead, but I'm okay with France having it. So now, how do I, how do I make the most progress here? I can cut Sweden and attack Denmark. Yeah, I can just guarantee Denmark. That seems okay. So Helgoland bite. I want to be the one moving into Denmark, I guess. No, 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 no. I want. Hmm. Helgoland, Bight, or the North Sea? I think I actually want it to be the North Sea here, because I want to vacate English Channel now. English Finland moves to Sweden. English Channel moves to the North Sea. Holland moves to Kiel. North Sea moves to Denmark. So if this means, with this move sequence, I'm guaranteed to take Denmark, 100%, because Sweden can't support, and Kiel can't support. Um... Those are guaranteed captures. I'm risking Holland. Just no two ways about it. Um, and if Holland gets retreated, it's disbanding back to London, which would not be ideal. Actually, it's going off the board, right? Or Finland's going off the board in this game. I hate disbanding my army as England, but... Seems seems important here. Cool. Yeah. Germany was sane. Fantastic. So Germany has to disband somewhere. Cool. He blew up Ruhr and Munich, so he's just giving it all to the French. Awesome. I love it. I still end up in Kiel, actually, which is nice. So, Helgoland Bite supports move to Kiel from Holland. Finland moves to Sweden just because. North Sea? Um, I guess I'm going to support move to Skagerrak from Denmark. I want Denmark to be popped. Or, I want Skagerrak to be popped, excuse me. 
Holland moves to Kiel, and Denmark moves to Skagerrak. I think it's unlikely France goes after Holland. Yeah, France understands. France knows. Leave English Channel empty. Wanted to get multiple on Munich. Cool. So I did get the fleet in Skagerrak. It has to go off the board. And Germany ended up in Sweden. Or Germany ended up in Denmark, excuse me. But I ended up in Sweden as payment for it. And I've got, I think, five units on Skagerrak. Uh, I've got five units on Denmark. Now I can talk. I can do the speaking. He's got three on Kiel. Interesting tactic decision here. I'm going to have to be thinking about this turn. So. I can take Norway. Right, I have three units on it and he can't even be supporting it. So, I can take Norway. I can take Denmark. I can take... I cannot guarantee taking Norway and Denmark and keeping Kiel. Actually, I can't even guarantee taking Norway and Denmark at the same time. I could. I could do that, but then I, I couldn't guarantee keeping Kiel. Um, I'm going to do the one that lets me potentially take the most. So Helgeland Bight moves to Denmark. Sweden supports that move. North Sea supports the move to Norway from Skagerrak. And Kiel supports the move to Denmark from Helgeland Bight. No. And yeah, Skagerrak moves to Norway. Not North Sea, Norway. Cool. Yeah, so this gives me the best chance to take Denmark and Norway. If Germany goes after Kiel, which is really likely, then he's going to retake Kiel. Um, unless the French also attacks Kiel with strength 2 and bounce, but I don't think that's particularly likely here. I, th I, I expect France is going to be moving into Silesia. It's possible France is taking Holland from me, but I don't know how likely that is. These moves look much more anti-German than anti-me. Okay. Very rude French player. Very rude. Um, Holland and English Channel. This indicates to me there's going to be another fleet build following this up. And I, I'm not, I can't afford to build two fleets this turn, so I think I'm going to build Fleet, Liverpool, Army, London. I just hate being so fleet-based. And if he builds a couple armies, or like Fleet Marseille, I'm going to be happy. But because of the move into the English Channel, it makes me feel like he's going to war. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic. Let's, um... Let's figure out how we're going to fight this war. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move Denmark into the Helgeland Bight, Sweden to Denmark, North Sea into London, Norway into the North Sea, Liverpool into North Atlantic Ocean, London into Wales. I think we're just going to get myself into... A very solid defensive position. Kiel is lost. There's a chance Germany support holds me in Kiel, but that's not happening. Um, the plan is to then be able to retake Kiel with the army, because Kiel gets to retreat into the Baltic Sea. Or I will then have three on Kiel that can't be cut, and Noros three can then cut Holland, and I've got these units ready to defend against these French fleets. 
So I expect this will likely hold. Cool. As expected. And Marseille went to the Gulf of Lyon, not Spain. Oh, that makes me really happy. Because now he doesn't have enough firepower to hold. I'm regretting this being an army. <laughs> if this was a fleet, I'd be in a pretty sweet shape at the moment. But nevertheless, we are going to put some pressure on him. I don't want to move North Atlantic Ocean to Mid-Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to do that. It's so much more punishing if I can actually get the... Um, if I can get it in. I'm, I was I moved into Irish Sea because I'm making the assumption he's going to be moving Irish Sea into Mid-Atlantic Ocean. Um, but... If he doesn't, if he just goes after Liverpool for some reason, this would be huge. Then I'm still taking Kiel. Guaranteed. It would be nice to be taking the English Channel this turn, but I wanna I don't wanna give France the build. Whew. Whew. Oh that's this is bad news bears for the French player. Uh, yeah, I mean if he just moves Marseille into Spain in the spring he could bounce me out of mid Atlantic Ocean in the fall and I wouldn't be in this position. But he did not, and so here I am. English Channel from London. There's no reason for me to um, take a center this turn with Mid-Atlantic Ocean. I can just support myself into the English Channel. And here... Let's see. Mm hmm... Yeah, I think we just support hold Kiel. It feels bad to be doing, um, but should be fine. So this is going to guarantee I end up in the English Channel next turn. I don't lose Kiel, and I don't lose Liverpool, and so if he ends up in Wales. It's a little awkward, but I think it's more likely he forces me to retreat from Mid-Atlantic Ocean. And once I'm in English Channel as well, I can take Holland in the fall as well. So I think I'm going plus two this year. Ah, uh, okay. I was not expecting to go plus two by just taking Brest in Spain. Uh, that wasn't exactly what I'd had in mind. I don't want to take Portugal, actually, because it's a little further removed. Um, and I don't think I need that fleet for anything this turn. So I'm... No, I actually don't want... I don't want Liverpool to be holding, because he could be going Wales to London, Irish Sea to Liverpool to punish that move set. It's much more likely, I think, that he is attacking Liverpool with support. Um, but here we are. Rip Sweden.
Um, I don't know. Not Wales. Uh, Yorkshire, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it was better for me to actually bounce Rush out of Sweden than it was for me to take Holland. That's funny. I was just assuming that keeping units, keeping the French units down was important, but I, I might have made a mistake here. Because um, this Russian unit is going to be obnoxious to hold. And Russia had to disband Romania. Um, and now it gets another unit in St. Petersburg, which is going to be going after Norway. Which is not exactly what I want to see. But we're going to get my next army out. Army St. Pete. Oh, that's nice. Maybe it's not going after Norway. It is going after Norway. I'm, I'm well aware of that fact. Those two units are going to be stuck with those two units for forever. But I'm making progress on the rest of the board. So I'm okay with those units being tied down. And here, by the way, is kind of why I'm happy to have taken Portugal last turn. Because I get to move into Spain this turn. And when he moves Tunis back into Western Med, I'm not too concerned about it. Because uh, I'm already in Spain. I don't have to worry about guessing. If I'd moved into Spain and then Portugal, when we moved back into Spain, there'd be this guess of is he going after Spain or is he doing something else? But now there isn't. I can just hold in Spain and there's there's no issues. Or move Marseille or something. But From here... <sighs> Yeah, just super, super awkward having these Russian units going after Scandinavia. But I, I never was able to fit in taking St. Petersburg because the French stabbed me uh, too soon. Austria has two on Munich, so Burgundy or Ruhr needs to be support holding Munich. The awkward part is I believe the other one can just be support holding Belgium, and that calls it a day. Cool. Awesome. Turn and see does it. Fantastic. Be nice if I had my army in Kiel now. But that would have given up the attack on Belgium last turn. Oh well. Liverpool from Edinburgh to Kiel. 
So this turn, it seems like it's a pretty simple turn. Um, I'm having... I'm retaking Liverpool this turn. By cutting support from the Irish Sheep. And I'm currently planning on retaking Belgium. It's just... He's going to be support holding Belgium, so I'm not actually going to take it back. But plus Liverpool, plus Spain, minus Norway is still plus one. And France is losing all of its things, so. I'm really tempted to move into Sweden this turn. Um, because that's going to be bouncing St. Petersburg. I expect, in, I expect Russia moving Norway into Sweden, St. Pete into Norway. And so if I move into Sweden, it bounces it, and Russia doesn't get another build. Which I kind of like. Because it feels like Russia's builds are just going to be messing with me. I'm going to do it. Like, there's no way they attack Kiel here. There's no way. None whatsoever. Hey, we got there. It had the intended effect. I still am plus one. Austria is, of course, massive, but without any fleets, I don't anticipate being a huge solo threat to this game. France is down three. So I get to scoop up the rest of France, and I think I am going to build a fleet now. Uh, I want to get English Channel out of there. Bye-bye fleets. That's what I like to see. Cool, cool, cool. So, how do I most take advantage of having won the war? So, for one, Baltic Sea goes after Sweden every single turn for now. I want him to be either he bounces me out of Sweden or he stops me from doing something else. Then... I kind of want to convoy into Belgium right now to help me get into Burgundy. But I also want to convoy in the fall. Spain is moving after Marseille. I'm hoping they just get a free capture from it. Yeah, I want to, in the fall, convoy into Brest and Belgium. Convoy into Belgium isn't guaranteed, but hopefully it's pretty close. Kiel moving... What did Silesia do? I assume it just held, but maybe it did something weird. England, France... Oh wait. Am I, I can't read Austria. Support hold to Berlin. Cool. Austria understands we are antagonists. Unfortunate. what I can do. I can't have English Channel support move to Belgium from Holland. That seems productive, because now Burgundy can't bounce me out of Marseille. Cool. And Russia let me into Sweden. Okay, well... I guess I overcommitted against Russia. Um, and against France. Okay, cool. This is um, this is great. So my path to 18. I'm at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Doesn't sound right. If I get St. Pete 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Belgium. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so I just need to take all of the stalemate line. I think Tunis 
and Munich are going to be the hard ones this game. I'm really happy I built multiple armies already. It's going to make Munich much easier to capture. Uh, no, not from the North Sea. I want from Yorkshire. I want Kiel. I expect both of them are just support holding Berlin. Moscow hold Silesia was the only one doing the supporting because it was the only one that needed to. Fantastic. And then I'm going to be using my fleet to take the north. Oh, it's awkward. I can't actually take Norway and make this convoy. Plus, Ber I think, the, yeah, the convoy is just more important. That's funny. Sweden can still support the attack into Norway from Skagrak, and who knows, maybe Moscow cuts St. Petersburg for no reason. So yeah, this turn I'm just convoying all my units to the mainland, making sure that everything gets where it's supposed to go. None of these convoys can be stopped. I can lose some things as punishment for the convoys, but those seem unlikely. And I'm already plus three in spring, so I didn't actually have to take anything, I just had to not lose. And I did a good job not losing, and in fact, I also took Norway. So, cool. We are uh, well on our way to a solo here. Um, so, Army, Edinburgh... Army, London, Fleet, Liverpool. So... Let's see. What's the best way to approach this attack? So Liverpool is going straight south. It's going into North Africa area as quickly as possible. I'm tempted to move Brest into Gascony to start supporting Marseille. Sweden to Finland. St. Pete, whatever. How am I going to maneuver my armies here? I want English Channel to convoy London to Picardy. No, convoy an army to Picardy from London. I want Belgium to go to the rear, Kiel to the Baltic, Holland to Kiel, North Sea Convoy and Army to Belgium, I guess. I think that's the most likely. Cool. This turn went perfectly for me. I ended up in Ruhr. I ended up in Finland. I ended up in Picardy. All of these things could have been bounced and none of them were, which makes my life a dream. Yeah, I think from this point, I think it's actually... I think it would be difficult to stop my solo if everyone started coordinating perfectly. Eh, maybe not too difficult if everyone is coordinated now. Like, I know there's a bunch of Turkish units that are being pretty useless, but even still, there are there's net four fleets in the south, so I could never take Tunis. I do have enough armies, though, that I can really start pressing through Germany. Um, ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. One 
going through St. Petersburg from Norway. Moves to St. Pete. Marseille continues holding. Holland moves to Kiel. Brest moves to Paris. Uh, North Sea is going to hold again. Yep. Belgium moves to Burgundy. Picardy supports move to Paris from Brest. North Atlantic Ocean to Mid-Atlantic Ocean. Cool, cool. Awesome. Okay, so we have to take three centers. Berlin, Munich, and Tunis are the three that are most likely. I suppose it's possible to end up in Warsaw. I built enough armies that I can't actually make moves for the rest. So we're going to build an army in Edinburgh, a fleet in Liverpool again, and I think a fleet in London, actually. Because now I want to try to get as many fleets in the south as possible to make, ensure saturation. Oh, we already have a fleet in Marseille. I don't think I need the fleet in London, then. I think I just can use another army. Cool. So against the bots, I think it's still likely they're going to be just double support holding Munich and they're going to let me into Berlin. And so I'm going to do the full shuffle, assuming I get into Berlin. Say needs to keep holding while I do the shuffling. Kiel moves to Berlin. Paris moves to Gascony. North Sea convoys. An army to Denmark, I think, is going to be the best. Okay, let's do it to Norway. From Edinburgh, Burgundy moves to the Ruhr. Picardy moves to Burgundy. Mao moves to Western Med, Edinburgh moves to Norway, Liverpool moves to North Atlantic Ocean, London holds English Channel, moves to Mid-Atlantic, cool. We're just doing a whole bunch of moves unsupported, the only actual supported move is the attack onto Berlin. Um, but this turn feels like a very good turn to me. Because it all works. It just works, baby. Cool, and so now we can get my fleet from Marseille, finally out of Marseille, because it's been tapped down by the army in, Gulf of Le uh, in, in Piedmont, so I can move it into Gulf of Lyon. And now I have Gascony to hold Marseille. North Sea can convoy to Denmark from London. And we can start going ham at Munich. Denmark via convoy. Cool, and we get into Norway with an army. We're getting ready to convoy into Livonia. Yep, yep, yep. It's all roses and sunshine. We ended up in Munich. All that's left is taking Tunis, which we're guaranteed to do, and we can't lose anything. Cool, so I can postpone the rest. 
Yep, nothing matters from here. Yep, yep. Okay, awesome. Nice England game. Uh, so the moves I can, I just need to have Berenci support St. Pete, Baltic Sea support Berlin, Kiel support Munich, Ruhr support Munich, North Africa moves to Tunis, Western Med supports the move to Tunis, Mid-Atlantic Ocean moves to North Africa, Gulf of Lyon moves to Tyrrhenian Sea. Gascony moves to Marseille. Tunis is guaranteed. And it is impossible for Italy to recapture in any time frame whatsoever. And here we just have North Africa support hold Tunis. We can have Barent C support St. Pete, Kiel support Munich, and Ruhr support Munich. And those are the only moves they need to do. Tunis can't be captured, Munich can't be captured, Marseille can't be captured, Berlin can't be captured, St. Pete. Awesome. We have a solo. Alright. Huh? Thanks for watching, you guys. This is the second game in the series where I play against the bots with one of everyone. This was a pretty, pretty straightforward game. Um, there were a couple of iffy points, but it all worked out. That war with France was really... That war with France is pretty hairy. But thankfully I got two builds in the same year, which made it made it feasible for me to fight back. And then France moving Marseille into the med was game losing um, because that's what enabled me to get into Mid-Atlantic Ocean. And this fleet in the Mid-Atlantic Ocean is the fleet that really broke his back. Um, yeah. Just from here, it gave me Portugal and Spain and Marseille by itself with no support. If you remember right, it just walks into Portugal. And helped me retake English Channel, right? And then the next turn, it walks into Spain, which I capture. And the next turn, it walks into Marseille, which I capture. All right, this one fleet just, just was game-changing. Um, and this fleet doesn't do anything if he moves Marseille into Spain and then into Mid-Atlantic. And, like, yeah, Gulf of Lyon ended up taking Tunis for France. It just took two years to get it, and in the meantime, he'd already lost Portugal, right? So, it's just... That was a pretty big mistake. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.